It's one of the greatest stories of all time. A boy just wanting to cut loose. He's the new kid in town, and the music's on his side. A girl holding out for a hero, and mostly, it's a story about dancing. Let's dance! Footloose. Paramount Pictures presents Footloose. On May 9th, 1983, in the state of Utah, principal photography began on the movie Footloose. And since then, 40 years later, many of the places are still around and many of the people that helped on its production are still here. So we wanted to see what it was like 40 years later. The one most people know, Lehigh Roller Mills, still sits today at the exact same spot and looks exactly the same as it did 40 years ago. First of all, when that movie came out, I was 13 and I fell in love with Kevin Bacon. Who didn't? Sherry Cutler does marketing for the Mills and now one of her favorite teenage movie experiences has come full circle. And be involved with the mill later on in my older years. While scenes were shot here, the big prom finale scene was not. They had that dance um, they came and they booked it, the facility, and they made it seem like the dance was done here. Right. And so there's bits and pieces that they did film here, um, but the majority of it was done down uh, the Payson High School. That wasn't all that was shot here. All the scenes of Beaumont High School are actually Payson High School. The structure is absolutely the same in most cases. You know, it's just fun. It's just fun to walk through the same halls and think about, you know, how that all played into what was going on in the film. This is Jenny Staley. I'm the student council advisor at Payson High. With all this footloose history, her and her council students, Ruby and Nick, get into it. I didn't know anything before I watched the movie. Like, I just was just a classroom. It was a hallway. It was whatever. That's why it's fun to watch the movie. In the movie, he comes out and he's standing in the hall and he talks to Ariel. And every time I come out that door, it's like, oh, oh, that's my lunch room. That's where I eat lunch. Or one of the scenes is they come through this hallway in front of these lockers and this water fountain. Kevin's got his, you know, Walkman playing, and Willard has the headphones on, and they're doing the little dance. It's like, I know that hallway from the movie. Like, watching in the movie, I'm like, yeah, I walk past that every single day. And there's one more thing still here. Yes, Ren's locker he spent so much time at is still here and marked with a plaque on the inside. It's a history the school is proud of with all its connections. I was a senior at Payson High School, and they announced that um, Paramount Pictures was going to be doing a film. As a senior in high school, Stacy Meesom was asked to be in the movie. The Time Magazine that my grandpa looked in something that Stacy in there. She was a part of the high school cheer team that shot an elaborate dance routine with Kevin Bacon. But alas... Then when the movie comes out, they cut us. So I was like, man, but it's okay because it was still really fun. She did get some keepsakes. Were you a little starstruck when you went to go take that picture? Yeah, we all thought he was cute. And despite the scene being cut, Stacy did make it in more than once. I told everybody to go sit around the table, so of course me and my friends went to where we thought we'd be able to be seen good. And then the next day they said, hey, everybody get in your exact same spot. Well, the cameras were turned the other way. Well, we went around and got over on the other side. So you can see that, you can kind of see us, and then you can kind of see us again the other way. Everywhere you look and pace and you'll realize most of the movie was shot there. This is the real Payson council chamber. Yes. But it was used in the movie, correct? It was. In fact, that podium, I think, is the same podium. Mayor Bill Ryan is proud of that fact. Payson's a great place. You know, I was born and raised here. It's, I just like to have the city get the notoriety that, that it deserves. He knows the movie well since he was a first responder on set during a famous dance scene where Kevin's stunt double was practicing. Uh, where they had anchored the rope was up in the rafters and they hadn't noticed that every time he swung on that, it was being cut by one of the rafters. He swung on it, it broke and he fell. Thankfully, he was okay, but another connection to the mayor, well, it happens when he joined the police department. His police car was also used in the movie to pull over Wren's yellow VW. I said, yeah, I know about it. That was my car. And they said, oh, it wasn't either. And speaking. I said, yeah, it was. And of that car. I bought this from a friend of mine. Vernon Marshall actually owned it. Uh, director, he asked if we knew anybody that had a 
yellow Volkswagen? And I said, yes, I do. And he said, oh, go get it. Even if a little work was needed to get it in the film. And they had to cut the, the headrest out. So that they could film? So they could film. <laughs> I thought, well, they'll just have a few scenes, but it was in quite a few. I was... Uh, a few of those scenes, Douglas Lamb... The guy that was filling up the car... ...is in the background. At the gas station. That was me. And he loves to point himself out, too. I was unemployed. And I got a call from the employment office that says they need an extra. I told everybody. I called all my friends and all the neighbors. So 40 years later, there's a lot that's changed, but a lot that stayed exactly the same. It's fun to see scenes in your own city on the big screen. There is somewhat of a sad ending to this story. Back at Payson High School, the countless memories on the silver screen and beyond are about to come to an end. As old as it is, as technologically behind as it is, all the things that are wrong with it, um, you know, it's, it's just something that people are really attached to. There are a lot of people that are just really sad to see it go. The school will be torn down and replaced after next year. But students are leading a charge, creating the hashtag Bacon to Payson. For a special goal involving the bacon himself. Well, we just wrote him a letter this morning. Um, we just told him that we want to invite him here because the school's going to be gone. So we want to have him come commemorate with us. Our main goal, we really would love to get Kevin Bacon to come to our prom next year for 2024. That would make all the students here, and maybe Jenny's too. Oh, it would be awesome for me to meet Kevin Bacon, yes. And to make sure Payson's ready for his return. I'm totally for dancing. Yes. <laughs> Not against dancing. <laughs> I used to like to dance, but I can't do it anymore. Everyone is for dancing. I'm lucky to stand up, let alone dance. So next time you put on the classic movie and watch your favorite scene, remember, without the state of Utah, Payson, the high school, and many, many people along the way, there would be no footloose. And that's every reason for everybody to cut loose. He's wow. got to come for prom well, next oh, year. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure he will. He is a great guy. I mean, involved in charity. You know, he has his own band, too. Yeah. The, the Bacon Brothers. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, Maybe he can yes. perform at prom for a song Wouldn't next year. Wouldn't that be great? That would be amazing. Kevin, if you are watching, we need you here in Utah to celebrate Payson High School going out and uh, this got great it. landmark in movie history yes. right here in Utah. How so. cool. That and East High with High School Musical. We're so yeah. fortunate here in Utah to really have so many great memories. And, and Lehigh Roller Mills, still, still there. there. Still, still there. there. All right. <laughs>